Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Uh, let me know if you did anything interesting out of the ordinary. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, today we're doing a uh, clan boss video where I show my team uh, for a two key ultra nightmare setup. Uh, to, which means essentially that you kill the ultra nightmare boss in two keys. <laughs> and then a one key nightmare setup. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about uh, what we have planned today. So if you have any of these champions, uh, which I'm going to show you, then excellent. And let's get right into it. So before we do the fighting, obviously, I will show the champions. So first of all, you're going to need a Fane. Uh, so let's scroll down to Fane and take a look at Fane and see... And see and see what's up you know so this is Fane she's gonna be doing a lot of the damage with her poison setup and so yeah let's take a look at her and um, yeah let's let, let yeah let's take a look at her straight up uh, so she's currently running uh, I guess I will go through the gear sets and then the stats and then the masteries and uh, we'll kind of keep that keep that going so that you under so that you can understand i suppose what's up <laughs> uh, so this is the weapon that has accuracy and speed uh obviously the speed is predetermined like we need a specific speed on her uh so you know so you know about that uh but yeah that that means essentially that we won't go uh, too deep into the necessarily gear stats uh because it doesn't matter a, a great deal Obviously, the more crit damage and crit rate, like she's doing a lot of damage. Like uh, we ha we have some pretty insane <laughs> insane gear on her to say the least. Uh, but yeah, the main Im main importance, obviously, the better gear you have, more crit damage, crit rate, and whatnot. It will make you do more damage. But uh, what's the most important for an unkillable team, uh, which this is, I should have said that in the beginning is to have the proper speed set up and uh, obviously the proper mastery so that you don't have turn meter masteries and stuff. All the skills is fully upgraded. She does decrease the defense and weaken and she also does poison. Uh, so now let's take a look at her masteries. Uh, I will hide my camera. So this is currently uh, how it's looking. Uh, so, so yeah, there we go. That's the masteries for her. And uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. So now let's move over to Fane is running at 176. Skullcrusher, here he is, man. Here Skullcrusher is. He's running with um, quite a random set of gear. I guess two times grave. Yeah, he does have crit damage set, you know, a lot of crit rate going into it. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of defense and stuff like that. Uh, also, we do have like this uh, 25 chance to change critical into normal be when being attacked. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll just look at the skills and the masteries on the champions. I'm not terribly... I'd, uh, as long as you can match the stats and the speed, at least the sp as long as you can match the speed, it doesn't really matter. M nothing nothing much. It doesn't. The rest is kind of negligible or what? Negligible. Uh, so yeah, negligible. <laughs> I don't know. English, what is this language? I don't know. Uh, so this is currently the setup uh, that he has in masteries. Uh, and now that you have seen his masteries, uh, we can take a look at his uh, overall stats. Uh, so he's running at uh, 168 speed. And so, yeah, and he does have a lot of crit rate and crit damage. Like, this guy is pretty powerful with a lot of defense as well. So he's, he's, he's doing a lot of damage, to say the least. Like, this is a, this is a very well-built team. Uh, and obviously, but yeah, what you have to take, uh, take into consideration is obviously the speeds. The speeds being important. So yeah, 168 for him. Now we're going to be looking at both of the man eaters. Uh, as you can see, one has a speed icon, which means that he is a little bit of a quicker boyo. Uh, so yeah, what's important here, the quickest man eater should have a 220 speed setup. And the second quickest should have a 214 speed setup. Uh, currently, their the rest of their stats is obviously pretty good as well. A lot of crit rate, a lot of crit damage. Uh, a lot of health, not that health doesn't matter. The health doesn't obvi obviously doesn't matter. And yeah, here as well, a lot of crit damage and uh, crit rate. Uh, both of their skills should be fully fully done. Uh, yeah, so make sure to 
upgrade all the skills. The skills is actually important in an unkillable setup because it's really, like it does, yeah, just upgrading the skills fully on this entire team. Probably a worthwhile idea. Uh, both of their masteries is the same. Uh, and so I will uh, hide my webcam again. And uh, there we go. That That's how, that's how the masteries look. Um, so yeah, you can try and duplicate those and uh, yeah. Then we're going to be looking at Snetril, uh, which is, um, I think, the main source of damage. I think he, he is the main damage dealer boy, and he is a very powerful, powerful man. Uh, here we have <laughs> a lot of accuracy for his uh, poisons, and he does, he does do a lot of poison damage. Like, this guy is the MVP. Uh, he does have uh, quite a substantial amount of crit rate and crit damage, a good amount of attack. Enough accuracy. I think what's the what's the golden rule? Over two hundred and twenty accuracy uh, on the point on the debuffer. So I'm mean, well two thirty. Let's say two thirty two forty. The more the merrier. I I'd probably stick and try and get uh, over two forty accuracy if at all possible. This guy's running at one seventy five speed, uh, which also is a thing. Uh, his skills is fully leveled up. And then we're going to be looking at his masteries. Uh, and again, I will hide my webcam here. And yeah, that's how it's currently looking. He's using Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer to do even more damage. And he's doing attacks enemy three times, which is perfect for uh, Giant Slayer. And he also does a lot of poison uh, with a pretty high uh, poisoning chance. Uh, so this is currently how the team is, run how the team is running. Uh, or, or yeah, the stats of the team. So now let's actually put it into into actually working. Okay. So here we are. Have the Ultra Nightmare boss. Uh, we have our team right here. So yeah, this is the formation you want to use. And so let's go right ahead and do it. Obviously, do not start an auto. I'm happy to edit that setting. I will edit in the order right after I've explained it. So you can screenshot and uh, so you don't have to remember or go back to this video every time. Uh, so first of all, you will be starting with your man eaters. You will do attack two uh, on with both of them. So here we have both of them doing attack two. Then the boss will do his AOE. He will do a lot of damage. Uh, then uh, Fane will be using her attack two. Uh, so let's do that. Yeah, I'm just looking at a little bit of a cheat sheet. Uh, the natural will just do his attack one. Skull Crusher will also do his attack one. Uh, then we want uh, the first man eater to do his attack three. Then we want to have the second man eater do attack one. Then the boss will do AOE number two. Then we want to do attack one with Fane. Attack one with natural. Attack one with man eater. Attack one with skull crusher and attack one with the second man eater because we still have unkillable, right? Then the boss will stun. Uh, and then we will be doing uh, attack three with Fane. So let's do that. There we go. And then we want to do attack two with man eater. We want to do attack one uh, with natural. We want to do attack two with man eater. Uh, yes. Then we want to do attack uh, two with Skull Crusher. Then the boss will do AOE again. Now I will also counter attack and just do a lot of damage. You can see the boss is being weakened and decreased defense. Uh, then we want to do attack one with Manator. Then we'll do attack two with Fane. Then we'll do attack three with Manator. Then we'll do attack one with uh, natural. Then the boss will hit again. Uh, then we should do attack one uh, with uh, skull crusher. Then we'll do attack one with both of the man eaters. We'll also do attack one with Fane. We'll do attack one with natural. The boss will now stun, but we're immune to debuffs. Uh, I wonder how that would have worked. Uh, I don't. I. I don't think the boss would have focused natural there. Uh, then the boss will stand. Then we'll do attack two with uh, man eater. 
Then we'll do attack one uh, with Skull Crusher. Attack two with Man Eater. Attack one with Fane. Uh, then we'll do attack one with Natural. Then we'll do attack three with Man Eater. Then the boss will do AoE, and now we can auto. So yeah, it's a seven turn count uh, until auto. And so, yeah, now I'm not doing anything. Now it's just obviously going by itself. And now this team should deal... Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, but it should be a two key. So the team will at least deal over 36, 37 million. But I, I have a feeling it will do more because of just a high crit damage and crit rate stats. I think the Ultra Nightmare boss is having... Uh, I think he has, what is it, 72 million health or something. And so, yeah, now you can just see how well the team is working together. Um, the boss is getting a lot of poison. It is also in a decreased defense and weaken mode. Obviously, the decreased attack doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, what, what we're looking for is mostly dot damage. Uh, but obviously... Yeah, as you can see, like, and by dot damage, I mean, like, poison damage. It would be either poison or fire, uh, yeah, just, that, or, yeah, the bombs from uh, Lord Shazar is also an, a, a dot damage damage over time. But then again, it's just, a, like, a debuff, which will do a, do a lot of damage. But it's over time, so technically, yes. And then, um, yeah, so, yeah, you can do this setup. Also, there's probably a setup where you use a burn setup, but... Uh, this is a very ideal setup. Uh, in the, the not too distant future, I will actually have a one key uh, build uh, for every uh, for Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare, and it's going to be against any faction. Uh, just so you know that. So look for look out for a video like that. Uh, but uh, while this is going, because this will take a while, I will do a time lapse. Uh, because there we now you have seen for around seven rounds how the team is working fully on auto, uh, and I think it's it's better to just uh, time lapse it a little bit so you can see the end to res uh, the end result. So let's time lapse a little bit. So we're back for the first, or for the final few rounds. Uh, but as you can see, the damage is pretty heavy, you know, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. And so, yeah, I mean, um, that's that's essentially the damage. And uh, that's enough to 2-key it uh, by a few million, I think. Not a lot of millions, but a, but a few million. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, so let's see the final damage count. It's 39.54 million damage. As you can see, uh, Natural did deal 16.3 million damage. Fane, however, did do quite a bit as, as well with 10.6 million. Uh, and then obviously we have the Manitors doing their part. And the Skull Crusher doing his part. And so yeah, that's the damage uh, of, uh, of the boss here. One key to the 9.5. Uh, obviously, uh, as you can see, the Ultra Nightmare final chest is 70. So yeah, around 35.1 million is necessary. So yeah. Natural, by the way, he can be changed, but he can be replaced by any Poisoner. So it could be Race and Scarhide or Draco, Malfoy. And Skull Crusher can be changed uh, by Martyr or any ally attack champion, which means counter-attack champion, which gives ev everyone counter-attack. 
So yeah, this is the team for Nightmare. Uh, I will not be spending diamonds uh, or gems, however, however, however you want to call it, uh, to waste because uh, there has already been done a key on Nightmare. Yeah, in the future there will there will be uh, a video showing a one key setup and for for every affinity enemy, uh, uh, clan boss could be any of them. Uh, but for now, this is how it works. Uh, it should work uh, against any affinity. And uh, so, yeah, that's about it. If you have enjoyed, you should definitely leave a like and you should also subscribe. And um, you should catch up with me on Wednesday. I'm planning on maybe doing a showcase of a strong account. So stay tuned. I don't know if it will go through or not, but let's see. Let's, let's just imagine that it happens and uh, yeah, bye bye.